Hi, Jason Bennett here from One Site Solutions. Welcome to an in introduction to Reflow. In today's video, we're going to be covering a, a few items that will help you get set up, ready to work within Reflow, and more so within this version of Reflow 1.6. So let's head over into our Niagara environment and get started. Okay, so here we are in the Niagara environment. So before we get started, just a few notes to consider, a few details to be aware of. Um, if you are using Reflow, um, you've got to ensure that your Niagara version is 4.6 or later. Um, we're currently using 4.11, so we're okay in this instance. Um, and also to note that Reflow inherits Niagara security model. So once you get going, it's um, just drop it on the top into the Niagara environment, and there's no other security uh, features that you need to consider in terms of users, etc. So you should be getting yourself set up pretty quickly. Um, also, some of the features within Reflow, um, i.e. weather and map features, um, they're going to require an inter internet connection. So if you're using Reflow on a on a sort of locked away network, as it were, uh, where it can't hit the internet, some of those features aren't going to be working for you. If you do want to check out some more of the full tech specs of Reflow, you can head over to niagaramodules.com and uh, check that out there. Okay, so I've got my station here. Let's just unfold that quickly. And you want to come down into services and you can see that I've already got the Reflow service set up. But for the purpose of the video, let's quickly show you how you would install that. So what you want to do is get your latest version of Reflow where you've got your modules. And then like any other Niagara module that you're using in your environment, you're going to want to drag those over into your modules of your version that you're using. So it's generally normally kept on your on your local C drive, and that's the file path at the top there. I've already onboarded mine, as, as you can see, within my station, but that's how you do it. You drag them in there. Uh, you're then going to want to restart your workbench and restart the station, and then you're up and running. So let's head back to the workbench. So I haven't got my palette open here, so I'm going to open that. So you're going to want to find your end mods reflow. So normally you come in here and you type in end mods or n find end mods reflow. Click that, and as I say, it's just a service. You're just going to want to install that within your services of your station. So if I go into config, go to services, you just drag and drop that into your services within within services of your nav tree. Um, so once you've done that, you're ready to go. However, you've got to consider your license as well. So if your station does have internet connectivity, it should head over to the Niagara mod server when you try and connect and it will find the license pretty much as you would with um, your host IDs for your, your own workbench or your, your own licensing within Niagara. It will do it that way. If you can't do that, you can actually add the license manually. And I, you would put that within your files area and you just drop your Niagara mods dot license in there and that will allow it to run. So let's start with the reflow service within workbench. As you can see, the one I made earlier. Um, but you can then load it up in your workbench environment. But it is recommended to use within your web browser and connect to the station that way. So let's head over into the web browser and we'll start having a play around and get getting some of this on the screen. OK, so here we are logged into the local host station that I've set up. Um, just to note that if you haven't set up Reflow with any landing pages, which you wouldn't have because you've just started doing it, it's going to take you to the config of your station. Um, so what we want to do is head into services as we did earlier in our workbench environment and just click on reflow service and that will load in. So this will land on your landing page. As you see, nothing's been set up too heavily at this stage. I have gone ahead a little bit of time and, and put a logo in and changed our title, but let's show, show you how I can do that. And that's under the theme. So today we're just going to look at themes and styling and just a little bit of setting up a landing page overview. So we want to head up to reflow config in the top right hand corner. That will refresh, reconnect back to the service. And now on the left hand side, you can see that we've got all our various sections that we can play around and edit with. So let's just jump into theme to start with. 
So you can see that the title at the top, I've set a subtitle. Uh, I've got some footer text which is hidden. Well, it's not hidden, it's just in a lighter gray, just down the, down in the bottom. And you can add a footer link to that. So I've set that up as our, our name and the current year and our website. Um, one good thing about Reflow is that you can make changes and they update as you are currently viewing the web page. So speed and efficiency is key. I like it that we can edit things and we can see those changes as we go rather than having to come in and out of menus and taking time and trying to get a, a feel for how that's going to look. We want to see that instantly. Um, so let's have a look at the colors then. So I'm not going to change any of these. I'm going to keep them as they are, but feel free to, to dive in and have a look. Um, fairly straightforward. The menu structure is self-explanatory really. Um, so we've got your primary, your secondary colors, and you can also change your navigation item colors as well and your hover colors. So I'm trying to keep everything in the same look and feel and color as, as one site solutions. So we're, we're all about the blue. Um, but I'm not going to change any of that, but you can come down. You can also adjust your alarm priority colors. Um, we'll cover alarms in a, in a later video and your weather and nav widget colors. And you can also create a, um, last six colors that you've been using just so you can, uh, you know, if you're using the, the, the color picker, you, you, you can sort of store them, which is, which is good. Um, good place to do that. Let's come back one step out of colors. Um, we've also added in our one site solutions logo there. And the good thing about reflow is that you can get a, an idea of how your supervisor is going to look through various different devices. So we're in desktop here. Um, and you can make those um, changes here for desktop and tablet height and also mobile height. So if you did want to see how that does look, if you come into the the menu at the top here, you've got desktop, tablet and mobile. And you can also change between different profiles of who's logged in. So if you want the test to see how pages look for um, certain users, you can do that here. But we're just going to keep it on the default profile for now. So let's have a quick look to see how this would look in a tablet mode. So you can see that kind of moves everything and adapts everything to suit that. And it also do, does that for mobile. Um, but you can also still access everything as you would, but it's just utilized for a better user experience. So you haven't got to worry about um, sizing and layout. It does it natively within in its own environment, which is great. Let's come back now. Let's take a look at the landing page. Um, so when you log in out the box, You've got a default dashboard, as you can see here, with active alarms and the weather widget. Um, now, some of the features that are great, which are only going to be of use really until you start to build up your, your buildings and add in your equipment, which we'll come to in, in other videos. Um, but we've only got one building for now. So if we were to click this building widget, um, you've got a link there to go to, to your building. Um, as you can see, I've already onboarded a, a, a few fan call units, which we'll come to later and some floors. Um, but let's go back a step. Not that far. Go back to our landing page and let's just turn that off for a moment because we'll cover that later. But as you can see, it, it's very intuitive. You, you're not going to get lost. You haven't got to worry about um, sort of coding. It's just very much turn things on and off, which are great. Um, again, you can change your dashboard titles to whatever you want. So I'm going to change that to landing page. Um, so we've got dashboard cards here now as well. Um, so we can have a maximum amount of columns. You can either have two columns, which will automatically change those to, to the right size to suit, or we could have three. So again, some, some really great out of the box functionality um, to do that. So let's add a card. So we'll keep it as a single card and your card types are up here. So we've got different ones. We've got an alarm display, a buildings map, circle, device summary, a divider, equipment list. So there's quite a comprehensive list here actually to go through. Um, so let's just choose one. I don't know. Let's go for a history chart. Reflow will just connect into the system. There we go. I've got some fan call unit measurements there. So let's go for fan call unit 10 return temp and just click that. Um, let's click OK. So there we go. We've got a nice history chart on there. And you can, if you want to, uh, a recent feature that's been included on Reflow 1.6 is the Delta function, which is great. 
if you want to see that level of detail. So we can, again, now you're in this, this type of card, history chart card, you can now change everything as you would. Um, it's pulled the theme through here, so you can change it to either your, your secondary or primary. Or if you do want to customize it, you can change that to a different color. Um, so if you want to keep everything sort of regimented and the same, um, but with just little touches, it's perfect. So you set everything up at the beginning with your theme, and it, as, as, as you can see, it pulls everything through. Um, so this is where you would set up all your um, information for the, for the history there. Um, so I'm not going to go into great detail of that. Like I say, I want to keep this quite a short little video and introduction to some cards. Um, by, all, by all means, jump in and, and have a play with those. But let's just add another card now. Um, let's go for a device summary. So as you saw earlier, we've got some fan call units that I've onboarded. Um, so let's just call that fan calls. Fan call units. And summary view. So equipment types, we're going to want to select. So I've made some equipment types, um, which I'll cover in a later video, but they're already there. So we've got um, some first floor fan call units. So let's click those. And as you can see, that's gone and pulled in all of my fan call unit across those floors now. So immediately you're you're getting information quite quickly on a custom dashboard. So you might say you you might want this dashboard page just to be for fan call units as a as a as a quick overview. Um, so let's we've noticed now that that is a single, so we probably want to make that a double or a full actually. Let's make that a full list. There we go. So we've straight away we we've brought in all our fan call units for the first floor. There we are. So we can see all that in a in a table chart. And the great thing about this is that you don't have to set up any hyperlinking um, to jump to those. It is already there for you. So you can click on Fanco Unit One. Brilliant. It can take you to your equipment page for Fanco Unit One. As I said, I'll cover the the setup of equipment and how to onboard those in a later video. Um, let's not go too far down the road with those. Um, and one thing to also ensure is that you want to keep some good housekeeping. So we just want to call uh, this one fan call unit 010, this particular card. So we've got that title there in the corner. I forgot to do that. So let's come back a step. Um, so let's just keep adding cards. Let's just have a, a quick overview of the type of stuff that we've got here. So we could say we want a circle. Uh, let's pull that down so we select a point. So this is going to go into the station now. So I'm going to go into my software folder, into my equipment. Fan call units. Let's go to basement. And fan call unit 16. And let's put in the cooling valve. Let's see what the cooling valve. So that's a 0% at the moment, um, which is a shame because it is a very warm day. Um, and again, we want to put the title in for that. So we want to put in anchor unit six. Cooling valve. There we go. So I'm just going to keep adding cards. Let's add some more cards. Uh, let's go for a equipment list so we might want a second floor so this is where you can bring in key items so let's say for example you might have a few devices that are in maintenance mode and you just want to keep an eye on those you can select this equipment list to be customized for that so Different from the one above where you have all of your devices and all the key information, this one is just going to show that one device and its featured point. Again, we'll go into that in a later video, but as you can see, you can bring in your devices uh, just in an equipment list there. So we'll keep that for now. So we'll go back. Let's add another card. One more card, I think, to wrap up. Let's go with with an HX view card. This is where you can select a, a view that's attached to a device. 
Let's click that one. There we go. So you can see it, it brings everything out of the station as it would normally uh, if you were setting this up in, in, in a normal Niagara PX page environment. But you can bring that information and, and, the, and, and that graphic to the forefront in Reflow. So there we have it then. I think that's that's a, a, a sort of very slim lined introduction to Reflow and how quickly you can get information out of your station onto a dashboard. Um, but as you can see, let's just quickly before we, we wrap up, change that back to the normal Reflow view out of edit. And you can see there, we brought some information in pretty quickly. So I'm gonna stop that there.